So here's my kicking legs prop, uh, kind of the bare bones of it without the pants or anything. Uh, I built this two years ago, so this will be the third Halloween I'm using it. And I'm probably going to rebuild it next year because it's, I didn't build it that well and it's taken a lot of wear and tear the past couple Halloweens. Um, so this year I'm going to hook it up to uh, a motion sensor so it only runs when it detects motion nearby. That way it won't keep running continuously and will cut down the wear and tear on it and hopefully you know, scare some unsuspecting victims out there. But usually I put some jeans over this whole thing and some shoes at the end and I stick it underneath the lawnmower. Uh, the way the lawnmower helps, helps uh, hold the base down to keep it from moving too much. And then usually I have my Crip Keeper prop holding the lawnmower so it looks like he's lawn mowing someone to death and their legs are kicking out from underneath it. And so in order to power this thing I have a windshield wiper motor down here. Uh, this is one of the most common ways people um, animate their Halloween props, uh, haunted house home builders out there. Uh, this is relatively cheap. Uh, I bought it on monsterguts.com. Uh, you can also buy it on frightprops.com and some other ones out there. And I have this t attached to a, a nice box to hold it steady. This thing turns around here, which connected to these swivels, which I have turnbuckles that connect to the legs. And I got this idea, this schematic from uh, the website scaryterry.com. And his looks really nice, and I decided I'd try it out myself and build one. And it wasn't too bad to build, it's just I have very limited carpentry skills, so it could be built a lot better. Uh, the left leg doesn't go quite up as much as the right leg, so it doesn't run that smoothly anymore. But it's, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite Halloween props that I have in the yard. It gets a lot of laughs, gets a lot, some screams every now and then, and it's connected all to uh, 12 volts, 5 amps of DC power, and that's pretty much it.